to Mama Salon. We're just going to get you started real quick. Can I offer you a beverage? Can I offer you a soda? Can I offer you a sweet tea? Are you recording right now? Yeah, I already heard. <laughs> <laughs> Happy game day! Before we watch the football game, before Sally Dar, Why are you talking about yourself in third person? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I have homework due, but there's also a Saints game on, and you know, my priorities are out of whack. <laughs> I haven't had my hair cut since, I, I wish I knew the exact date, but I think it was honestly December 2019, but it also could have been Thanksgiving. I don't know. My hair is the longest it's been in a very, very long time. So I need a haircut, and my roommates are gonna give it to me. Right guys? These are the tools, a pair of scissors, a comb, and a spray bottle. I'll take the spray bottle. My name is scissors. Here, take those. Do you want me to comb out my hair for you? Yeah. Mama Salon is a little DIY situation. No idea what we're doing. No, well, no one has anything. I've never no. cut a white person's hair before. Cut my hair. Before. I've never cut a white. Or I've never cut hair anyone's before. hair before. We talked about hair the other night. I feel like it's very in vogue to dye your hair and cut your hair and chop off your hair. I just don't have any desire to ever dye my hair or do anything drastic to my hair. I'm sorry, I'm not on that trend of like saying you're having a breakdown and dyeing your hair. It's just not me. Do my dad used to cut my hair. Oh, that's Aww, sweet. Cute. One time my mom went out of town when I was a kid and my dad had to get me ready for school. He didn't know what to do, so he called our hairdresser and was like, hey, I'm just gonna bring Megan over to your salon at 7.30 tomorrow, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh -huh. So then I got my hair done at 7.30 in the morning before I went to school. And everyone's like, wow, you look really pretty today. Like, yeah, I was a little glam. My mom was like, you literally couldn't just like figure out how to do a ponytail. Yeah, like, oh, men I'm with hair is like a whole different thing. That's when I learned to do a ponytail on my own is because like my dad couldn't do it for me and I would like have tears streaming down my face trying to figure out how to do a ponytail. I feel like every dad should like at least know how to do a ponytail. Okay, come on, come on. Hey, well you gotta put your hair, you gotta sit up. Okay. Just sit up straight so okay. your hair is not, right? Yeah. Well I'll try to keep a posture. You can yeah. chair without a back. Yeah. Do you, <sighs> wait. Well I can sit side. <laughs> you turn this around like you're yeah. an English teacher where you really connect the class. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. So. Persephone. I'm also left-handed, so this isn't gonna end well. Sorry, I didn't buy left-handed scissors. <laughs> My right-handed <laughs> privilege is showing. Living in a right-handed world is very hard. I'm really sorry, Catherine. I'm ignorant about that. I'm really sorry. I like love when people play with my hair and like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rip my hair out. I'm gonna say like to Harry Styles. <laughs> Do you want me to comb it and hold it for you? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know the technique that they do where they like, <laughs> no. hold on, hold on. No, I do not. Their fingers and they go like this and then they cut. Oh, that's what Catherine's gonna do. Oh, okay, no, okay. I'm not doing that. No, Catherine, no, you're holding Someone has to cut my hair. Yeah, let's turn left to right. Let's turn left to right. I don't want to tell you guys how to do it because like I don't want to. I feel like you start underneath. I need like a truly. Yeah. What time is yeah. it? You're allowed to have a drink. Should I have one? Yeah, you need one. Cheers. Who dat? <laughs> It is 11.10 a.m. and I still have to do some homework. L-E-T-S-G-O, let's go. Her hair cannot be softer. Okay. Thank you. Right. Herbalescence. Catherine, please steady your hand to like there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You're moving the comb. Catherine, you're moving it. You're moving it so much. No, that was perfect. Let me see, let me see. Yeah! Oh, that's a big jump. Yes. It's not even. Well, okay, then cut it all again. Build up your confidence, ladies. Come on. Now we just have to follow this like little line of her hair. <laughs> There's so many pieces of hair. Mom is quitting her job to pursue a career in hair. The edges are, how do you say? <laughs> no. Shannon. No, it's fine. Alright. I just kind of felt like a beat all Sassoon. Wait, what's who's the guy that sells the shampoo chat? <laughs> Vertigo. Okay, is this layer done? I'm not too sure. Okay, so I'm just gonna let down a little bit more. Oh, there's a lot of fucking hair! The only features I liked in myself, like, as a middle school, <laughs> high schooler, is I liked my eyelashes and I liked my hair. I don't know what I like. I like my teeth. How much hair should I let down in the next layer? Like this little wet bit. <laughs> okay. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because everything has to match up to that part. I think like in theory, this should be like a straight. Well, that's not happening. Yeah, no, it's well, fine. In yeah. theory, you should go to a salon. Yeah, but that's not fun. Professional treatment done to your hair, you know, getting top quality service <laughs> is not fun. If it's bad, then I'll just go somewhere. I do have a bit of experience in this because in second grade, me and the girls at my table would kind of like play chicken with each other. We would have our hair and I'll be like, yeah, I'm gonna cut this much of my hair. And someone would be like, yeah, I'm gonna cut this much of my hair. So it's like, oh, like are you too chicken to cut more? Yeah. Oh, so, we, I would never call that plain chicken. Oh no, I was always the person that would never cut my hair. Mama 
did cut out a large chunk of her hair. When I was in kindergarten, I got one of those books where it's like, oh, like write about yourself. Like, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite flower, etc. Part of the pages of the book, tape a piece of your hair. So oh. Mama took a front piece of her hair and cut it this short. I cut off like an entire length. I was like five. And my mom was pissed. She was like, why didn't you like take some from the back? I'm like, Mama's five. And then there's photos of me at that age where there's just like this little tuft. Like this is all the same length, but I think this this is shorter. Just some layers. Every day I and wake I up and I'm like, why do I have this much hair? I say that a lot too. There's a lot of hair in this house. <laughs> yeah, this it's a miracle hair. that there's not chunks of hair around the place. Except there was a chunk of hair that Catherine left in the shower the okay, other day. I forgot to take it out. I thought we weren't gonna discuss that. <laughs> just chop that. There you go. Yeah, I should pick her beat also soon, hands out. I'm grabbing a drink. Remember to let us know in advance when you're gonna do that. Okay, sorry. And I think that's actually a little too short. Just, you're gonna have yeah. a little layer right there. Yeah, you just don't need it. That's just creative living. Oh, I love getting my hair cut. It's so relaxing. Just wait till you see the finished product. <laughs> Am well, I crazy or is this like way longer? Next, Next layer. Next layer. When I was born, I had no hair. Same. I was if you're watching this, Margie, hey, what's up? My grandmother was afraid that I was never gonna grow hair. Like she was like, your your daughter's bald. She's <laughs> never gonna grow hair. I'm concerned. And now I have the most hair in my entire family. My mom was very much into hats, oh, bows, accessories to cover up the fact that this baby's bald. <laughs> big bows, like in pre-K? Oh, yeah. I think that's just yeah. a Southern thing. I didn't have big bows. They were just, you know, little ones. Normal size? It was just like smock dresses and bows. bows yeah. Until I, until I had to wear a uniform. Well, let's I, talk about the Sacred Heart uniform of a smock, smock dress. dress. Yeah, <laughs> I literally remember my transition from bows to headbands because I, like, I had a breakdown. Fifth grade, on my way to school, still wearing a giant ass bow. Yeah. Mom's wearing headbands now. Yeah. I thought I was Blair Waldorf, so. Pre-wrap. Pre-wrap has headbands. Do you guys think bobby pins work? I think they're a conspiracy. Well, you have, there's also a bunch of different types of bobby pins, which I didn't know. Yeah, no, I don't know that. When you get your hair cut, do you close your eyes or do you keep yes, them open? Yes, I close my eyes almost the whole entire hair experience until I'm like getting blown out. I don't think I close my eyes. Yeah, Mama's just being a perfectionist now. Next. Next. Do you guys close your eyes when you get your teeth cleaned? I don't think so. No, I definitely close my eyes. I love the dentist. What? When um, they scrape the back of your teeth, uh, like... Uh, when they scrape the back of your permanent retainer... <gasps> I fucking love it. The, Sorry, give me a coffee break. Yeah, Mama has a coffee and a Bud Light going. And the day I had to switch to an adult dentist, like... Terrible. So sad, but also so good because they actually scrape your teeth. Who's number 33 on the Seahawks? What is he hot? Yeah. Mom is available. <laughs> McCaffrey on... Christian McCaffrey! That's why he's on my team! Justice for McCaffrey, he's fucking hot. We're in a fantasy league together. Megan picked her team mostly <laughs> off looks. Oh my god. Because Mom is trying to get a whole team of hotties. Megan is like winning our whole league right now. Yeah, so I guess picking the hottest players really works. Hey, Slide sweetie. Slide to DMs later. After a couple Bud Lights. <laughs> hey Jamal, you were great today. But you literally could have gotten like ejected from the game today. Like, great job, bang. There's hair everywhere. Um. Good. How many kids? Jamal doesn't have a girlfriend or a wife. <laughs> what? What's wrong with him? Jamal Adams canceled. That's what I look up for everyone. <laughs> so far, it looks like he just canceled an appearance one time, which is crazy. So he's canceled. Jamal Adams, we need to arrest the cops who murdered Breonna Taylor. Yeah. I'm gonna look Jamal on Instagram. <laughs> Mama has a crush. <laughs> yeah, so maybe Mama's got to pack it up to see. Yeah, we're at the part where it's all even. So if you cut more, you now you have to. It's gonna get shorter and shorter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Next layer. Planet LSU. <gasps> Wait, that's oh my God, it's meant so to be. Oh my God, he's twenty four. Oh, oh my God. God. Joe Burrow. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant OBJ. Oh, okay. oh well, well, yeah. <laughs> Duh. She was a little bit of a snack. So, look at this picture. Yeah, I know. I know. I think he's the one that there was a lot of fan cams on TikTok and everyone was like, yeah. this is the guy that you guys think is hot. And I'm like, it's yeah. not. Everybody's like, he looks like any other boy I could find on the street. It's like, I'm not disagreeing, but it's the whole, it's the whole aura. aesthetic. Yeah. But are they getting paid millions of dollars? Fuck no. Yeah. Like they play in Louisiana. It's like, yeah, I'm already invested. On Bumble, if it's like, hey, I'm from Baton Rouge. I'm like, yeah, we could talk. Let's chat. At Addison Ray. Where are you at? Yeah. We're here. Go Tigers. What do you and Kourtney Kardashian talk about? Oh. So let's talk Freds. Let's talk Freds. Freds. Oh, I've been out in Baton Rouge, but like I don't really remember. No, being out they're in Baton literally Rouge. no, but I do I remember know. Freds. My mom was a bartender at Freds. So. Oh, did your mom go to LSU? Yes, she did. What? <laughs> like it's almost like. Stop whispering! I can fucking hear you. I know. What? <laughs> Put the next part down. We'll bring it at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, there's the final layer. This looks like a lot more hair. <laughs> well, I could pull up a little bit. I just like, let's get it over. 
I'm gonna sit over here and talk to you about your salon experience. Yeah. How have you enjoyed Mama Salon? Is that our salon name? Yeah. Over the building, it just says Mama, Mama salon. salon. Is it S apostrophe or is it I think it's apostrophe? Yeah, it's Mama Salon. It's S apostrophe. The well, title no, is no. Yeah, it's, it's Mama Salon. Kidding. It's M A M A apostrophe S. Okay. Okay. So like, mama who salon. is the Mama? Is what Megan, I'm trying to say. Your Mama. Because she's yeah, cutting. I'm Mama. Your Mom. Oh, did we discuss this last night? Catherine's mother. When did we discuss that? I thought I was Mama and y'all were sisters. Well, you are the mom. But yeah, it, I'm the mom. On, yeah. on the variation of the mom scale. I'm mama, your mom. Mm -hmm. Catherine is mother. Ma, the peppers. <laughs> Gabba mama. Gabba shoot. Ma. Mumsy. One time I told my mom I was like, I would never date a Falcons fan. Yeah, like, I wouldn't. And I don't need a man convincing my children to be a Falcons fan. No, like, I don't I'm need that in my loser. life. I'm like, I have a really bad attitude if I lose. <laughs> not good. Like, I'm all for, like, a little friendly competition, but, like, maybe just, like, not no, a Falcons fan. I, love. Let's I not. don't want to fight you. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I could ever date a Falcons fan or a Patriots fan. Like, I just can't. I could deal not with date it. a Falcons fan or I a could Cowboys maybe fan. Or a Cowboys fan. Not, no, Cowboys. I could maybe date a Patriots fan unless oh. Tom Brady's not. Saints I mean, a Saints yeah. fan would be ideal. Nobody, I just feel like nobody does games like this. Like, we're, yeah. like, no I mean, one is a fan. Obviously, like we're biased. Us. We got our work cut out for us. Oh, God. Okay. I think we should cut it in the front because, you know, like, this will frame her face. Yeah. How do we want to do that? Mm, yeah, that's not even. <gasps> no, it's just not even down here. No, that's what I'm saying, like right there. <laughs> Everyone just looks confused. Yeah. 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 We sure? Let's just do this side, and then if it looks terrible. <laughs> Ew. You have so much hair. I know, that's why I want it gone. Wait. Why do I feel like there wasn't this much <laughs> hair in the front when we did it the first time? Well, now you need to sit the other way because now this is in the way of that. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? No, just. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. So it's like here. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> I'm rather do I'm still my name. Ah. Bulls in this house water. <laughs> Hair is so weird, it's just dead protein. Ew. So are your fingernails. Yeah, I get it, but like Maggie, come look in the camera and see her hair. Oh my god, stop. What is it? Look how uneven it is right there. Do you see it? Do you want me to put it behind my ears and you can see? Yeah. Let's get a little feedback. Okay, let's let's look. Uh, maybe I'm crazy, but this seems longer. How does that look? Like, does it look even when I do that? Oh, no. Yeah. This, <laughs> this looks this longer. This looks longer. Yeah. But how? But just like, give it a little snip snip. Like, yeah. just be like very casual about it. We're really casual. Yeah. Actually, maybe that's not Scotty's hair. Hey, that looks kind of good. I feel pretty pleased about this. Wait, I look pretty even. Like, I think I didn't do that bad of a job. Come and if anything's off in the next guy. few days, you know, I could do a little snip snip here and there. I actually feel like it looks pretty good. I do too. Oh my god, good. Okay. Yeah. I feel like we should let the viewers see the back. Okay, yeah. Okay, show them the back. My trusty assistant. Da -da 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 -da. Wait, your hair looks so good. Yeah, it looks pretty. Thanks to my hairdressers. Thank you. Yeah, don't forget to tag us. Okay, wait, let me look in the mirror and I'll get my reaction. I think it's great. It's like, this might is... still be a little long on this side. If you, like, get out the shower this week, you'll, like, totally see. Yeah, I'll be able to tell. But I think it's great. It's still really fucking long. Like, we could even do more. I was gonna need to say that. If we do a ponytail, I'll be able to, like, tell the difference, you know? Oh, well, there's definitely way less hair in my bun. Oh, like, yeah. I feel like when I do a bun, I can tell. It's, like, not even flopping over the Your way I normally so would. Soft, right? So, do you great. like it? I do like it. Thank you. Yeah, mom is a professional salon <laughs> stylist. Oh, my God. I'm so itchy because of this hair. I feel like I need to take a shower. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I guess we're just gonna like watch the game. Yeah. With my new hair. I guess I have to do my homework too. And do some work. Yeah. I gotta DM my husband. And like have some chips and queso. <gasps> we gotta order the chips. Oh, we're doing that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much to my salon stylist. Thank you for watching. I don't even feel like it looks that different. People are gonna be like, wow, I was hoping for a grand reveal, but I don't feel like it looks that different. But that's fine. I don't like doing much to my hair. So you can follow me on Letterboxd, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. And with that, bye.